every single day I need to create the same analysis for each one of the data sets that I have here. But instead of doing it manually, I can click here in this button, create analysis, and the Excel macro is going to create it for me. So this is what we're going to see in today's video, how to create a macro in Excel to help you to automate your tasks and that way save time and work smarter with Excel. So let's go and find out how can we do it step by step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that we can start with is to enable the developer tab. Because here we have a lot of tools that we can use to automate tasks, such as record a macro and macros, for example. So let's click here in the wrong tab, and then with the right click in any blank spot, you can choose the option customize the ribbon. Here we're gonna have a new window that's gonna pop out for you, and then instead of using popular commands, you can choose main tabs, for example, or all tabs. And here we're gonna have the developer tab, and then you need to choose developer tab click add and then OK. Here we have now the developer tab and we can start to automate some tasks here. As we have here a couple of sales report, each one in one sheet, for example, instead of do the analysis over and over again, manually every time that we have a new data set, we can automate this task. And to do it, we can use record a macro tool to help us. First, let's understand what we have here in the data set. As the first column, I have the date, ID, and then region, product, quantity, total, and customer name. Let's say here, I want to know the total sold per region, for example. And to help us to do this analysis, to summarize the sales, we can use the sum if function. Because instead of to add up all the values in the column F, I'm going to add up just the values that match with a criteria. And in this case right here, our criteria is going to be the region. As we already know now, what do we have here in this spreadsheet? We can start and record the macro itself. And one thing here is important to know. While the macro is recording, everything that you do in this spreadsheet is going to be saved. So if you type in anything, if you use a specific function, if you click in anything, the macro is going to save and store it, everything that you did in the spreadsheet, okay? So let's start here clicking the developer tab, and then here to the left, record macro. The first thing that we can do here in this panel is give our macro a name, such as, for example, create analysis. But you cannot leave a blank space like this to split one word to another. Instead, maybe it's a good idea to use an underscore, for example. Short, a shortcut key, you can use a shortcut, and every time you press the shortcut key, the macro is going to run to you. But I'm going to leave it in blank. I can also put here a description, but I'm going to leave it in blank now too. And I'm going to click here now OK. Everything that we do now is going to be save it, store it in the macro. Let's start move on here to a blank cell to the right. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to start with is to give here the title of my analysis, such as total sold per region. Then in the row below, I'm going to type in all the regions that I have, such as mid, west, north, east. OK, now we can move on and create the sum is function to help us to add up all the values that match with uh, the specific region. But before we do it, let me select everything here and then I can go to home and I can put everyone here in bold. And I can also put border in everything, all borders like this. I can also choose here to align the middle and also center the content like this. And I can also select now here the first row, the header, and I can merge everything together, merge and center. Okay, now I can click here in the column K and L, click hold and drag to the right to make sure I can increase the size of this column. I can also click here in the header and go to the home page again, put uh, let's say the background in a black color and the font in a white color. Now we can create here the sum if function to help us to add up all the values about midwest and then all the values about northeast and then southeast and so on and so on. Equal sign sum if function. Double click here to select one two. The first thing that the sum if is asking me is the range. What is the range that I'm gonna use here? As my criteria is the region that I have, I need to select the column that corresponds to my criteria. So it's going to be the column where I have the regions. So the column C, for example, I can either select a specific range like this, or I can also click in the C letter, 
to select the entire column C. Joma, my criteria here is going to be the Midwest, and then in the next row, it's going to be Northeast, Southeast, and so on and so on. But once we click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag it out, the reference, the criteria is going to also be following, dragged out, express Joma here. Now I can select here the sum range column, and my sum range column is going to be the column F, where I have the total sold for each one of the regions that I have, for each one of the orders, for example. Close parentheses, enter, and we're done. I can click here in this down right corner of the cell and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function like this. And with this range here selected, I can go to the home page and let's say I want to put the highest or the largest value into a greenish color and the lowest one in a reddish color. We can do this scale using conditional formatting here in Excel. Let me click here, conditional formatting, color scales, and I'm going to select the first option, green, yellow, head color scale. Click here, and I can also select here this range and put everyone in a currency format, for example, like this dollar sign right here, accounting number format. Now we're done, and we can click, let's say, in this first cell that we have here, A1, to stop the macro developer tab, and here to the left, stop recording. Now every time we run this macro, in any sheet that we have here, we're going to have this automation, and that way we're going to save a lot of time. But instead of go to the developer tab and select macros, choose the macro that we create and click in run, we can do something different here. We can create, let's say, a button. And every time we click in the button, the macro is going to be automatically run to us. So let's click here, insert, illustrations, shapes. I'm going to choose here a rectangular shape. I'm going to make like this. I'm going to double click here within to type in, let's say, create analysis. Okay, I can select everything here inside Home tab. I can increase the font like this, centralize in the middle, and I can also change the shape format to, let's say, a uh, orange one like this or this. Okay, I think this one here is good. I'm gonna make sure I can put this button right here. And every time now I click in this button, I'm gonna have the automation. But when I click in the button, nothing happens because I need to assign basically the macro to the button. Right click and then I go to assign macro. I'm gonna choose the macro that we create and then OK. Let's test the macro, but before we test it, let's scope and paste the button to all the sheets that we have. And every time now you add a new sheet with a new data set, you can basically scope and paste the button and you can do the automation as simple as that. Right click, scope, and then I go to sheet number two and I'm gonna paste here, for example. And I can also paste in the sheet number three and also in the sheet number four and so on and so on. I'm gonna paste here for every sheet that I have, like this, and let's test if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna start here from the last sheet, sheet number six. I'm gonna click here in the create analysis. Let's see if it's gonna work. Click here, and yeah, we're done. Let's try another one. Click, okay, I'm done here. Here again, sheet number three, sheet number two, and we finally made it. So I have here a lot of different analyses, uh, and I just basically need to do the first one, the Excel macro, recorded for me everything that I did, and then every time that I need to do it again, I just need to click in the button. So this is how we can create a automation here in Excel, and one important step here, instead of save the Excel file as .xlsx, for example, Instead, of, you need to use XLSM, okay? Because that way you can save the macro into your Excel spreadsheet. And to do it, it's pretty much easy. I'm gonna show you how can you do it. You can click here, File, and then Save As, and then you can click here, Browse, and then you can save it in any place, anywhere you want into your computer. But the important thing is, save as type.xlsm. This is what you need to select, okay? And then you can give it a name, and we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.